Hi guys, just doing a quick video review on the VTIN Cuba wireless speaker. First of all, a big thank you to Vic T Singh for kindly sending me out a sample to review. As always, I've got no affiliation to the company, so let's take a look at the box first. So on the front, you've just got the label of the product. On the side, you've got some information here which shows you how it works. And then on the back, you've got some information. And then on this side, you've just got the company logo as well. So before we do the unboxing, I'll just go through the specification on the back. So it's a fiber RMS speaker. It has an 800 mAh battery, which the manufacturer claims should last approximately eight plus hours. And it weighs in at about 130 grams. So I've been using this product since Friday. It's now Wednesday. I've had to charge it once in between, um, but I've probably used it for an hour to an hour and a half every single day without any issues. So in the box, you get the speaker itself. So I'm gonna pop that out. Yeah, it's just got a V10 label on the back and on the front. You also get is that instruction manual. You get a micro USB charging cable to charge it. You get a lanyard, and that lanyard slots through there. And you can attach that to your wrist or to a backpack if you're backpacking somewhere. And then you also get an AUX cable. So this does work on AUX as well as Bluetooth. So if you want to save the battery or you have a device which doesn't have Bluetooth, like an MP3 player, you can still plug that in and listen to your music. So we'll quickly go through how it works and the features on the box as well. So on the top here, hopefully you can see you've got the on button. You've got a plus and a minus. So there to adjust your volume. But if you do a short press, it skips to the next track. And then you've also got a pause and a play button there as well. On the bottom, you've got the sort of safety ratings and the CE stamp as well. And then on the other side here, you have, if I can get it out, what you have on this side is the USB port and the AUX cable. I'm going to try and use something just to fudge it out. Hopefully I don't damage it in the process. There we go. So in here, you've got the AUX cable and you've got the micro, uh, micro USB cable as well to charge it. You can see the reason why I was struggling was because it's a rubber um, cover but it forms a really tight seal and the reason it does that is because this device is actually waterproof um, before we start talking about the waterproof capabilities let me show you how it works so what you want to do is you want to press the on button turn the device on and it makes some audible noise um, once it's turned on you turn your bluetooth on your device on and you search for any local devices and it should find a device called vtin cuba which is this Connect it, and once it's paired, that's it, it's done. It remembers that you've paired the phone. So if this device is on and your Bluetooth is on, it automatically connects. So we've already got the device turned on, and you should be able to see that by the uh, flashing LED. And what I'll do is, on my phone, I will see I'm already connected to the device, but if I turn my Bluetooth off, and then I turn it back on again, it should automatically search for the device and pair it straight away. That noise that it just made is an audible noise just to confirm that it has paired with my phone. So for the video um, review, I'm going to be playing the song Vance Joy Riptide. It's got some good vocals, uh, drums in there as well, so you should get a good idea of bass, and then it's got a good treble as well. Um, I'll start off by playing it on medium volume, and then we'll crank it up to... Hi, and then I will start talking for a bit more again. Okay, so. Living on the high shelf. Oh. 
So I don't know if you noticed, but the when it was on full volume, the actual bass was causing it to move around on the table a little bit. I I think on the video it probably will come across as um, not as well as it comes across in real life, but the audio was really clear. It wasn't really scratchy, or there wasn't any distortion at full volume. Um, it was bassy, but I wouldn't say it's really, really bassy. I would say it's it's a fairly good all-rounder. So if you're after something that's quite bassy, this product probably isn't right for you. If you're after an all-rounded product, um, I would say this ticks pretty much all of the boxes. I do have some XMI minis, and they're the ones where you twist and it expands. And those are a lot more bassier, but that's because when you twist and it expands, it allows the air to sort of reverberate and create that bassier noise. They are not as loud as this though. So this is much, much louder. Um, I mean, I think it's a great product. It's really, really easy to use. You can control it using the phone. So if I lock my phone, you can press play and it will play straight away. You can pause it using the device there. And then you can crank up the volume as well using this. So it should, if I press play. Play as well. If you do a short press, it skips to the next track. So, do a short press. It skips to the next track on my Spotify. I've just searched for Vance Joy, so it's playing every single Vance Joy track that exists. And then that's it. So, before I finish my review, this product does claim to be IP67 waterproof. I conveniently happen to have a bottle of water here, and we're going to put that to the test. So, I'm going to stick it on play, dunk the device in. I'll give it a good, good swirl around and then we'll see what happens. So, stuck it in water. Water's gone pretty much into all of the ports, and it does a weird thing where it goes quiet for a little bit, and it's probably 20 to 30 seconds. What then happens is it just becomes loud again. So you can see it's working, it has a malfunction. I think it's a great product. Um, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. I will test it for a little bit longer, and if anything changes on the device, I'll update you guys in my review. But I think it's a great product, and yeah, for $18.99, you can't really go wrong. Thanks for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed the video, press the like button on the bottom.